I'm trying to clean up my backyard. Okay. It's a bit better. Okay, so. Three o'clock, dropped, uh, three o'clock, picked up one of my kids and took them to their um, after school activity. That ran, it runs from four o'clock till five o'clock and then drive back, drop them back at uh, mum's house and then drive back here. It's now six thirty and I'm going to have about um, Ugh. I'm going to have a small 20 minute nap and then I'm going to um, get back on the assignment. i got one tiny bit left to do and then after the assignment I'm going to uh, do some contacting with my daughter's school books, her textbooks. around about 6.50 now. Time to wake up, smell some coffee. Carry on. Crap time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we've got to cover these books with clear contact and these ones and these ones I've done a few already but I just wanted to show all the guys out there how to actually do it and do it without putting any bubbles into it first thing get your book put it to the side get out contact it's going to roll up it's going to go all over the place. So, roll it out as far as you can. Anything else? I should have mentioned what type of equipment that you need. Well, you need the stuff that will actually contact. You need the contact material. You also need 
hand, hand saw, whatever. Scissors. I like using a Stanley knife or exacto knife, depending on where you come from. And if you're going to use a Stanley knife, always make sure you've got a set of pliers, just in case the blade gets blunt. Next, the secret weapon, a ruler. This will become more pertinent once I start working on it. So, first off we need to figure out how much of this contact we're going to need. We're going to need about, oh, maybe about an inch or a couple of centimetres work on either side. And this book is pretty big, so it's going to be great for a demonstration because we've got enough to play with. But you're going to have to do it double the length. So, pulling out the book and putting it down gives you an indication of how far you're going to go. This, about an inch, about an inch, a couple of centimetres, and use a pen to mark that down. Do -do 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 -do. Now, using the scissors, cut your sheet to length. Now, you really do need a sharp pair of scissors. I don't, but I have a very sharp knife. Please be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to cut yourself or do any damage to any of the surfaces that you're cutting on. Okay, so here is our cutout length. Here comes the tricks. First off, take the boogie out, grab a weight, Put it on the other side so it doesn't roll up and cause any mischief to yourself. Then, peel back. Ah. This is why mums are so good at this because many mums have fingernails. Anyway, okay. peel it back to about point a couple of inches back and and fold it down and fold that bit down. Like that. Okay. You're going to get a bit of a roll up, but that's okay because at this point in time, this is where you're going to get the book. You're going to measure it up again. And you're going to... Put, you're going to put a little bit of that book onto the exposed area of contact underneath that tab or over that tab, sorry, there we go and press it down. Now that you've done that gently pick it up and place it down with contact sheet down like that. Now, don't smear that all the way down. I usually just tap it here, and it keeps it in and it keeps it in place. How cool is that? Right. This is when you grab your ruler. 
And what you're going to do with the ruler is place it down onto the contact here. And then with that tab, slowly pull away. You won't be able to see what I'm doing at the moment, but once I actually get that a bit loose, I will flip it back over, and then pressing down on the ruler, I am going to start to push very slowly along. Because the contact is adhering to it. Now, I'm merely just smearing it down. If it starts to get a bit stuck, all you got to do is flip it over again. Loosen the tab a little bit. Put it back over and then start again. And there you have it. Yeah. Then, taking it from the corner, then taking it from the corner, peel it off, pick up the book, and put it down. There you have it, look at that. Right. Nice and smooth. You're going to need to make some diagonal cuts here, 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 same down here, and so across there. So let's begin. Starting with this side and the top, peel it back over itself and fold it down, making sure you're pulling towards yourself and then squeezing it back down. Now you're going to repeat the process with the bottom part here and make sure you do that on the Edge first, and then roll well, back with your fingers. Another good point to note is that when before you even start, make sure that the bench that you're working on is clear of anything else, like dust or anything, like that, because it is going to get stuck with the contact. As you can see, contacted school book.